Let's invoke our lambda function locally by running the same local invoke command with the hyphen E option. Then specify the location for your NYC event JSON file. Consider this. You have a Lambda function inside your AWS SAM application, and now you want to invoke and test it locally. Can you do this in a few steps by using the Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, then click on Create Environment and give it a name. I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values, hit Create, then give it a few minutes for the environment to come up. Click on Open Cloud9 IDE, then right-click on the parent folder and create a new folder under it called SAM. Let's create a new folder under SAM called my lambda. And within my lambda, I'm going to create the lambda underscore function dot py file. Double click on this file to open it. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code that starts by importing the requests and the JSON module. Inside my lambda handler, I'm extracting the latitude and longitude values from my event, then plugging these variables in my API URL. On line nine, I'm grabbing the output of my API URL in the request variable. And on line 10, I'm converting it into a JSON object. On line 11, I'm extracting the current temperature from my JSON object. And finally on line 12, I'm preparing a return string and plugging in the value of my current temperature variable. To summarize, the purpose of this Lambda function is to return the current temperature based on the latitude and longitude values of the location. Next, let's create a new file called requirements.txt under the my lambda folder so we can specify our lambda dependencies with their versions. Next, I'm going to create two test event JSON files, one for NYC and one for LA and specify their respective latitude and longitude values inside them. Let's save these files, then create a template file under the same folder and call it lambda.yml. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written YAML template, which is of the type AWS serverless function. Under properties, I'm specifying my Lambda handler and Python 3.7 as runtime. For code URI, I'm specifying the relative path for the my lambda folder. And for memory size, I'm providing a value of 128 MB. Let's save this file and head to the bash terminal. Start by using the cd or the change directory command to go inside the SAM folder. Next, let's validate our SAM template by using the SAM validate command, followed by hyphen T option, then specify the name of the template. Looks like our template is valid. If there were errors in our template, this is where it will show up. Next, let's run the SAM build command with the hyphen T option for our template file and hyphen M or manifest option for our dependency file, which is requirements.txt. Looks like our build was successful. To confirm this, look for the .aws-sam folder under the sam directory. If you don't see it, confirm that show hidden files option is selected by clicking on the gear icon. Navigate to the my sam lambda folder and confirm that you see the requests module and all its dependencies installed there. Next, Let's invoke our Lambda function locally by running the same local invoke command with the hyphen E option. Then specify the location for your NYC event JSON file. Give it some time for the local Docker image to build, then confirm that you see the current NYC temperature in the response output. Let's invoke our Lambda function one more time with the LA event JSON file. 
to confirm that our lambda function is working as expected. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why was the AWS SAM developer always calm under pressure?